so this is a classic example in uh, uh, graphical models, probabilistic models. Um, so if you- uh, What are those? Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's useful to mention because we'll talk about them more. Yeah, yeah. So neural networks are one class of machine learning models. Um, you know, you have distributed set of uh, nodes, which are called the neurons. You know, each one is doing a dot product and you can, you can approximate any function using this. A multi-level network of neurons. So that's a, a, a class of models which are used for, useful for function approximation. There is another class of models in machine learning uh, called probabilistic graphical models. And you can think of them as each node in that model is variable, which is, which is talking about something. You know, it can be a variable representing is, is an edge present in the input or not. Uh, and at the Top of the uh, uh, network, a node can be uh, representing is there an object present in the uh, world or not, and and then so it can it is it is another way of encoding knowledge, and uh, um, and then you once you encode the knowledge you can uh, do inference in the right way. You know how, what is the best way to uh, you know explain some set of evidence using this model that you encoded, you know. So when you encode the model, you are encoding the relationship between these different variables. How is the edge connected to my uh, the model of the object? How is the surface connected to the model of the object? Um, and then, um, of course, this is a very distributed, complicated model. And inference is, how do you explain a piece of evidence when, when a set of stimulus comes in? If somebody tells me, there is a 50% probability that there is an edge here in this part of the model. How does that affect my belief on whether I should think that there should be a, is a square present in the image? Mm -hmm. so, so this is the process of inference. So one example of inference is having this experiment of effect between multiple causes. So uh, graphical models can be used to represent causality in the world. Um, so let's say, um, you know, uh, your uh, alarm uh, the, uh, at home can be uh, triggered by a, a burglar getting into your house, uh, or it can be triggered by an earthquake. Yeah. Both both can be causes of the alarm going off. So now you you are you know you are in your office. You heard burglar alarm going off. You are heading uh, home, uh, thinking that there's a burglar. Got it. Mm -hmm. But while driving home, if you hear on the radio that there was an earthquake in the vicinity, now your high, you know, uh, strength of evidence for uh, a burglar getting into their house is diminished mm -hmm. because now that that piece of evidence is explained by the earthquake in, being present. So if you if you think about these two causes explaining at lower level uh, variable, which is alarm, now what we are seeing is that increasing the evidence for some cause. Exp you know, there is evidence coming in from below for alarm being present. And initially it was flowing to a burglar being present. But now, since somebody, some this there is side evidence for this other cause, it explains away this evidence and it evidence will now flow to the other cause. Th this is, you know, two competing causal uh, things trying to explain the same evidence. 